This is the first look at Pop OS Cosmic Desktop Alpha 5, and we are just a few months away from the stable release of the Cosmic Desktop. With each alpha release of Cosmic, they have addressed gaps, resolved bugs, and improved the user interface, and the Alpha 5 is no exception. In this video, we are going to explore the key features of Cosmic Desktop Alpha 5. Now, as of now, you can try Alpha 5 by installing Pop OS 2404, or you can install it on your favorite distribution such as Fedora, Arch, Nix OS, OpenSUSE, and much more. Now, as you can see, I have installed the latest Pop OS 2404 LTS, which comes with Cosmic Alpha 5. Now, let's dive into the Cosmic settings. In Alpha 5, the settings application has received several enhancements. There is a new settings page under System and Accounts called Users. This lists all user accounts created for the system. When you click on a user, a dropdown reveals options to change the current username and password. Admin users can now easily modify the settings and toggle permissions for other users. Now pressing Alt or Super plus Tab opens the app switcher, allowing you to cycle through the applications in the order they were last active. You can hold Alt or Super to select the application from the switcher using the Tab key or quickly press and release the shotgun to switch to the most recent active window. You can also cycle between applications in reverse order by using the shortcut Alt or Super plus Shift and Tab key. Alpha 4 introduced a new feature for the Cosmic Desktop called Variable Refresh Rates. If your display supports higher refresh rates, it allows the display to match the frame rate of the content such as games, preventing screen tearing. You can set to either always or automatic, which enables the feature for full screen content. In Alpha 5, VRR has been refined to ensure that the cursor moves smoothly even when applications runs below the minimum refresh rates. This stable cursor frame rate is particularly noticeable in non-gaming applications running full screen mode. In Alpha 4, the Cosmic Media Player can be installed manually via a command. In Alpha 5, this application is pre-installed out of the box. It's a Rust-based media player. Now by default, it cannot play the codecs like MVOV, MKV, or AVI, but you can install the extra codecs by running a simple command. Once you are done setting up these codecs, you can play any video format. System76 has also started developing a native Cosmic codec installation application to replace the session installer. Additionally, the Cosmic Media Player uses Vulkan for rendering and VAPI for decoding and efficient video playback. You can now open links directly from the Cosmic Terminal by simply left-clicking on the URL. In the Files application, pressing Ctrl plus Spacebar on any image opens a context drawer that displays the file information. The context drawer now gets a new header buttons. You can use the arrow keys in the top left to navigate to the previous or next image or use the window icon to view the image in a gallery preview. Now, apart from these changes, Alpha 5 brings plenty of performance improvements, several bug fixes, and many, many tweaks to enhance the overall user experience. Now, according to the Pop OS community on Reddit, the stable update of Pop OS 2404 LTS is expected to be released on March. 
Until then, if you can't wait to try out the Cosmic Desktop, you can download and install Pop OS 2404 LTS right now. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.